America's interstate highways crisscross near Columbus, Ohio. And not far from that lies Briarcliff, where the ATV motocross community intersected in so many ways. In the first moto, Joel Hedrick out front, his championship rival Chad Wienan had work to do. With Brandon Hogan second and Max Lindquist in third, the race was on to move forward. Wienan made a pass for third and then Hogue had equipment problems late. Hetrick took an easy Moto win and looked to back it in Moto 2 with another hole shot on his Phoenix Racing Yamaha. Wienan made a move on Linquist, and Linquist went over the bars. The racetrack got rougher and tougher as the day went on, but it couldn't stop Hetrick, who had the pace and the airtime to go 1-1 and extend his points lead at Briarcliff. Now, his home race in Pennsylvania. Can anybody stop the 88? Welcome back to Mav TV's continuing coverage of the ATV National Motocross Series. I'm Jason Wygant to give you the call. Things look beautiful here now at Pennsylvania's Pleasure Valley Raceway, but we have been dodging the weather all weekend long. That seems like a constant in the ATV Motocross Series. That can help the track at times, but you can see it's getting a little one line dry in the middle and still wet and soft, and it'll slow you down if you go around the outside. So that's what our pro riders are going to have to deal with today as we cruise through the pro pits with the Ford brothers, Cody and Bryce the luckless but very fast Brandon Hogue, Torini, the Italian native. There's the 88 of Joel Hetrick at the red backgrounds and the cool evil Knievel livery. More on that on his Phoenix racing machine later. A couple of the riders check out here. Logan Stanfield, he's been picking up the pace this year. Vincent Merman we mentioned a couple times this season as well. Jeffrey Rastrelli, Zach Decker on the 23. And second year pro Max Linquist, podium last race. Just, uh, sticking to the riding and the training and preparing for this place. Definitely one of the better tracks on the circuit, I'd say. Had some really bad luck here last year, and so would like to turn that around, but otherwise it's been pretty good to me in the past, so looking to definitely get back on the better side of things there, but overall can't complain about this place. It's always a good racy track. And that's what Chad Wienan is hoping for. Everyone dodging the rain out here in Pennsylvania. The eight-time champ looking for a record ninth title this year. Last night we got some rain, so we're going to see how things play out today. It looks a little soft out there, but uh, just coming into this race, uh, I, I was riding Wednesday, I tweaked my knee a little bit. I'm unsure of what uh, what happened, but uh, I got a lot of swelling in my knee, but honestly, like today, it, it's, uh, it's feeling a lot better, so hopefully I can uh, block that out and just have a good performance today. Honestly, I think uh, adrenaline will kick in and hopefully uh, propel me through, so I'm ready for the weekend, uh, excited. Um, just uh, see what I can do here. And this is rare for Weenan to be ailing coming into a race, one of the most reliable figures in the history of the sport, and that's why he has those eight titles. And now he's got to try to catch Joel Hetrick, who we will catch up with in a little bit. But right now, we'll watch him ride in qualifying, always fast, on the Phoenix Racing Yamaha. And boy, you can see how tacky and difficult this track is slinging some mud off is Weenan. But again, they'll sling it off the main line. The question is, will it open up other lines Linquist with a bit of a hybrid, almost a mud setup there. Not the full mud setup, but they have some of the tricks. Try to keep the mud out of the radiators and the rest of the machine. Brandon Hogue, can't miss him in that USA livery there. Jeffrey Rostrelli, love to see him muscle that machine over the jumps through that rhythm section. Nick Janusa out of New Jersey, bit of a home race for him in racing terms. Probably about six hours from where he's from. This is the western side of Pennsylvania. So he wants another podium finish today. There's Cody Ford on the number five. The 55 of Logan Stanfield. And some of the high speed action being shown off by Zach Decker. This track is going to be so hard to set up for. It's going to be so different, I think, by the time we get to the motos. But as far as the lap times... Look, everyone's usually chasing Hetrick in qualifying and practice, but this time they get the drop on him. It's Bryce Ford and uh, always fast now, Brandon Hogue on top. See what that sets up for the motos. ATV Motocross is brought to you by RP Race Performance. 
by Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com and by CST Tires. It's the ATV National Motocross Championship coverage here on MAV TV. Let's get ready for the motos on a track that has changed so much after all the rain throughout the weekend. Turn from muddy to muddy on the outsides and dry and slick in the middle. It should be pretty good by the time the pro motos start after we watch our youth and amateur riders go at it here at Pleasure Valley Raceway. And we'll clear the decks. Joel Hetrick, your series points leader in the pro class. Feeling good. Uh, ready to rip it up. Track drying out finally. Just excited. I wanted this place to be hard and dry slick, and I think that's what we're going to turn into later in the day here. Um, probably this moto, actually, and obviously moto two will be the same or drier. Just looking forward to it. I feel good. Bike feels really good. I love this track, so should uh, hopefully it all comes together. So let's check it out here, Moto One on Mav TV, and riders ready to go racing. It'll be interesting. Everyone taking a guess on these conditions. How dry will it be? Well, let's find out who gets right. Moto One. Is that Weenan on the inside? Yes, Chad Weenan got the whole shot. Nice job by Ford. I thought he was going to get him around the outside, trying to get to the inside for this next corner. And we're on board with the Rocky Mountain ATV MC camera on the back of Ford's machine. Not seen Weenan pulling too many hole shots this year. This is his opportunity. Trying to make it happen and get some points back on Hedrick in the series. Oh! Ford almost went over the bars. Got kicked there. And it's going to allow... That's Brandon Hogue in third to try to get by. But no, Ford able to hold him off. And there you see Hedrick looking to make moves around him. So a big battle for second, third, and fourth as Weenan attempts to set sail. Knee injury or not, he looks good. As they work their way to the off campers here at Pleasure Valley. Shout out to Jeff Cernick, longtime owner, operator of this track. He puts on a great show when the ATV series comes to town. Look at Ford closing right back on Weenan after that early mistake. And now Jeffrey Rastrelli on that 28 joining the party. Top five, look at this action. Love to see it, and I think it's Lindquist up to six. Let's see if he can close the gap and make it a six rider duel. And I say this every week on the show, we've been waiting a long time to see who can run and break up the party with Weenan and Hetrick winning all these races. Oh, another mistake by Ford! And this time he gets hit and goes down. It was actually Hogue who ran into the back of him. He had nowhere to go. That wasn't his fault. And Hetrick, I don't know, either by luck or skill, happened to be on the outside and avoid all that carnage. I believe he's actually, yes, emerged in second when Hogue got held up. And I really don't know, does that something, was that a line that Hetrick wanted to use that outside line or did he see that developing? It all happened in a split second. So right now, Hetrick up to the number two spot and rapidly closing on the leader. We're about to have another classic battle between Chad Weenan on the Weenan Motorsports Yamaha and the Phoenix Racing Yamaha of Hetrick. And this is Hetrick's home state track. Does live in North Carolina now, but he grew up in Pennsylvania. Only moved out recently, so this is where his friends and family are. And Rastrelli, he has had problems. He saw in that onboard shot starting to slow down. So Ford has gone down, Rastrelli has had equipment problems, and this battle continues to rage. Hedrick versus Wien in for the lead. And Hogue showing that speed as he has every week this year, as we see Bryce Ford trying to come back through the pack after the crash. Getting around his brother right now, Cody Ford. And looking for sixth place. Hedrick still not able to find a way around. Zach Decker has had problems, wow. A lot of issues for a lot of riders in this first moto. We'll have a second moto coming up in a bit, but who's going to win this one? Can Weenan hold off Hetrick? And you love to see it. Hetrick getting ultra aggressive on that off camber and through the rollers, looking for a place to pass. And a lot of this is the conditions. You can see that 
main race line that has worked its way in. Some of these softer sections you can spread to the left or right, but other areas, as Rastrelli continues to limp around on his busted machine, other areas of the track, you have to stay in the main race line. It's the only part that is dried out. So it's hard for Hedrick to find even a place to get side by side. We saw Zach Decker have problems, and now his moto is run. And look at Hogue just in it right now. And these two multi-time champions not able to pull away from Hogue. And he has been this strong right from the very first race of the year at Daytona. He has been the most improved rider in the series by far. As Hedrick continues to look for an opening, where will it be? And that left side in the rhythm, almost into the back and literally into the back of Wienan. Wanted to set something up there, couldn't get it done. Cody Ford, Bryce Ford still battling as Bryce looks to make his way back forward with the crash. Hedrick a little look there on the inside, nothing going, nothing doing. And this is what Chad Weening can do so well as Rastrelli, we figured his race would be over and it is, he's getting a toe back to the pits. Weening just doesn't make mistakes. And that's gonna make it even harder for Hedrick to get by. the jump where Hedrick is almost into the back of him the last time around. Now he tries to set up a slingshot move on the outside. Not enough to get to the inside for the next turn. And all the while, Brandon Hogue just still there. Hogue on the music racing Deja Vu Kenda Tires machine. There's Bryce Ford still trying to make up the ground. Still has not, has not been able to make the passes that he would hope to but that's still a pretty good salvage job. I thought his race might have been over after he flipped it. Back to the Wienan and Hedrick battle. In these softer sections, Hedrick taking on a lot of roost as well. Bad for the goggles, bad for the radiator. We have seen some equipment problems with some of these riders. Not sure what the root cause of that is for Rastrelli, Decker, and some others, but you gotta be careful in the roost zone. Hedrick off the back of the machine, trying to find enough speed to tuck it inside of the next corner. It's not there. Weenan has to survive this last half lap with the lead. Shout out there to Max Lindquist. He's actually in fourth. Hogue still all alone in third. These two have gotten away from him late. Weenan looking to bring it home. Hedrick one last time, hoping for an opening. And he is completely covered in this Pennsylvania soil. Headed to the checkers. And Chad Wienan does it, he holds off. Hedrick, and that's a big moto win right there and a great run. Hogue keeping it consistent in third. Linquist and Janusa round out the top five. They're all pumped for Hogue running the pace, but it's all smiles for Chad Wienan. ATV Motocross on MAV-TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires. Let's go racing here, moto number two. Jeffrey Rastrelli hopefully has his machine repaired. Bryce Ford just looking to keep it off the ground after running third early in the, that first moto. And the track, how different will it be with a nice grooming here for the second moto. There's a dive bomb around the outside. I think that's Zach Decker, and it almost worked. He gets to the number two spot. He went all the way up on the grass. Vince Merman having his problems have tangled up there. Here's Rastrelli with the onboard. That was actually, I believe, Hedrick right by him. And Chad Weenan does it again, back-to-back -back hole shots on a day where he needed him with these track conditions. It's a little one line in Moto 1. Now, maybe it's different here in Moto 2, but if you're Weenan, you don't want to know. You just want to go. And he's doing it right now. The low line. Have not seen anyone use that. Was not in play in the first Moto. Look at Joel Hedrick, he's buried right now. He's got the red boots on, looking to make some passes. Man, what is he even in the top? Oh no, Hedrick, what a save! 
Unbelievable! Stall the machine. Got to get that Yamaha refired. This is the disaster moto that Wienan was hoping for to make up some points. Nick Janusa, Ford, Hogue, Decker, and Hetrick is going to be in next to last. Get Merman down in the first turn, and Hetrick finally gets the Yamaha refired. Now he's lucky he didn't crash. Didn't take out any damage to bike or body, but still, he's got a long way to go. Janusa in second, and already Hetrick, or sorry, Wienan has checked out. So two things to watch. Battle for the lead, battle here, heating up, but it is for second, third, fourth, fifth. Hogue and Ford really duking it out. There's Hogue at the bottom of that off camber. Oh, it almost worked. Wienan has set sail. He's looking for the 1-1 now. And he has no idea that Hedrick is absolutely buried in this one. Linquist and Ford going out. A great racing back there. If you just take your eyes off the leader, you'd think it was the most tremendous battle for the lead ever. Wait a minute. Bryce Ford now has problems. Smoke coming out of his machine. He has been luckless today. Cody Ford up there. Hogue, Rastrelli. Cody will look over his shoulder, and he sees nothing but that orange gear of Brandon Hogue. And Zach Decker in that fight as well. Janusa has checked out on this group. He is running strong in second as his four-rider duel for third on back continues. Probably the best moto we've seen. Cody Ford turn in here. Can he hold on for a podium? He's in third, but look at this challenge. Woo! They're getting all sorts of sideways. Zach Decker, and now Joel Hedrick has caught this group from dead last. Outside the top 10, he's got a shot at the podium if he can make passes. It's not easy to make those moves on this track with these conditions, but the speed differential, look, he's already made a couple. Now he's down to the inside. Hedrick has got all three. I believe that's fourth place after being next to last to start this one. He's around Ford, Decker, and Rastrelli. Three riders lay in front of him. You've got Wienan leading. Great run by Janusa in second. And Hogue is broken away in third. Can he get on the podium? There's Rastrelli and Decker still duking it out. Ford, we saw his equipment problems. His moto is run. And now Hedrick has caught Hogue for third. An unbelievable ride. And just as strong as Chad Wienan. Avoided the big mistake under pressure in moto one. And then the start in moto two. High line for Hedrick. He's on the right. Hogue is on the left. Hetrick just trying to go everywhere Hogue doesn't, looking for an opening. Check back in with Janusa there in second. Oh, this is so good right now. I think this battle, they might get up to Janusa. There you see Hetrick was looking to make a move on Hogue for the number three spot. See if he made it happen. He did. And now he has Janusa in sight. What a charge from the home state native. There's Janusa on the black Gen USA machine. There's Hedrick, there's Hogue with that orange gear. Janusa riding so well, but hold, oh man, is Hedrick next level or what? Would have loved to have gotten that whole shot, gotten away, didn't happen, then he crashed, and now he's gone for the number two spot and he has it! Just absolutely dancing down to the inside through those whoops. Go for broke, Joe Hedrick has come from next to last to second. And again, Wienan has no idea any of this has gone on. Is there any chance that Hedrick could get to him? Nah, gap is just still gigantic. Wienan has ridden a great race, but you know these Pennsylvania fans would love to see Hedrick go from worst to first, or thereabouts. I'd say next to last and second is still pretty impressive. Actually, I don't even know if Merman was still behind him when he got going again. 
as Janusa and Hogue are now left to battle for the final podium spot. Hogue wants it. Still a big gap to Hedrick in second, but what a ride. Hogue looking for running room. Final lap. And looking for the 1-1 day is Chad Wienan, and this is often how it works. He might not have been the fastest rider, but he had two good starts and didn't make any big mistakes. Battle for the podium as on Hogue tried to get outside of Janusa. Janusa beats him to the corner and maintains the position. Hetra keeps closing the gap, but time is up. Title hopes not quite over for Chad Wienan. Started the year with a rough one at Daytona. He steadily climbed back. He gets the 1-1 here at Pleasure Valley. And there is a second place finisher. What a run for Joel Hetrick to get that 2-2. Hogue is third with three four scores, edging Janusu is 5-3. Feeling so good. I love podiums, man. Uh, yeah, man, we were just on today. Uh, qualifying went well. The motos were, were also pretty good. My speed was, was pretty decent this weekend, so um, had to execute a decent start and uh, put it up on the box. This is the third time this year, which is awesome, and uh, hopefully I want to finish the year out on it too. So I'll see you guys at Redbud. Thank you. Made a mistake in the back, and uh, guys got under me, and then I was trying to make some passes. Got up to the triple up here, hit it on the left side where probably no one's hit it all day. G'd out super hard, landed sideways, almost crashed, stalled my bike. Come back from dead last and then, uh, you know, just fought my way back to second. But it was a fun race. I can't say it wasn't. Uh, it was just not obviously what I wanted to do here in front of my hometown crowd. We'll go to Redbud. And, uh, we'll give her give her the beans there and try to go for that 1-1. One -one. I'm really gunning for that at Redbud. Um, just keep on digging. Uh, it feels great, man. Uh, just the way I was feeling yesterday with my knee, and um, it came around today pretty good, but still wasn't quite 100%. But, man, those starts, I just ripped them all day. Uh, they, were, they were key. And uh, that first moto, we had an intense battle with Joel, and I uh, just kept the train on the tracks the whole time. Second moto, ripped the start, put in some heaters. Uh, Britt got a, got a nice size gap, just uh, managed it, rode it home. Uh, very few mistakes out there, which is key, and uh, huge props to my team. We need more sports Yamaha. Those Maxxis tires are hooking up and uh, all these fans out here and uh, we're one one here in PA. CST tires race recap. Big hole shot for Chad Wien and maybe the most important hole shot of the year with the way this track shaped up after all the rain and that one dry line. There's Ford going over the bars, crashing. That allowed Hedrick to sneak into second and what a run he put in. He gets right up to the rear tires of Wien in a fight for the lead. Props for quite a few riders out there, including Jeffrey Rastrelli, Zach Decker. And there is Wienan holding off Hetrick at the line. Motor number two, nice start on the outside for Zach Decker, who is back. Here's the big incident with Hetrick. What a save here, but he did stall it, sending him all the way to the back of the pack, and he would ride like a madman to get back forward. There is Wienan leading. There's Bryce Ford's machine expiring. And here's Hetrick in a big battle with Hogue for podium real estate. He would make the pass, get to third, and then wide open down the inside, takes second from Nick Janusa as Hetrick takes second and Wienan cruises a win. You see the points lead though, still almost 30 points. So Wienan gonna need to keep winning as we head to Redbud. Thanks for watching.